<laughs> uh, we're going to videotape this, and do you want to have this on the internet for the entire world to see your experience here, or you sure? To... All right, yeah. yeah. Thank you, John. Thank you. And we actually—I mean, it is something just to say. Now, of course, it is okay to. to we, we appreciate everyone's privacy. On the other hand, there's this movie in which I kind of think of. It's called Pay It Forward. Mm -hmm. You know, you got a chance to see a lot of other people who were nice enough to let us have a look into their lives so you could see that yesterday and that really helps us so we do appreciate your kindness and uh, being willing to talk about this and I guess the thing that I would like to bring up and uh, tell you about a little bit of my feelings is about your diabetes um, and I don't want to take up your time on your video but <laughs> you can uh, talk, okay. uh, my background <laughs> for 20 years I spent time as a professor of surgery at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill and I did regular general surgery. And one of the things that a regular general surgeon does is sometimes get called to see a diabetic who has an infection in their foot. And the infection in their foot may progress and sometimes has gangrene. And so for many times in my past, I was called to see a diabetic as a consultation to cut off the leg because of infection. It's very scary. It is very scary, and of my experience as a doctor, I got used to a lot of things. You know, you have to get used to, you know, making an incision and seeing blood and infection and things like that. But the amputation surgery is still so barbaric and so rough that I still not quite over those experiences. And when I get to see somebody who's diabetic, and especially insulin diabetic, and I think that this morning, in somewhere between 30 and 60 minutes, we're going to get rid of your diabetes. That's it's really an opportunity to give thanks and to celebrate that this is an exciting time. And I appreciate your kindness in coming here and letting us help take care of you because I really think we, we have a chance to contribute into your quality of life and length of life. So it's an exciting time for me. And I, I sometimes come across wrong. People will introduce themselves and say, and I have diabetes. And by mistake, I'll say, oh, good. <laughs> Sorry, don't misunderstand me. I don't want you to have diabetes. But what we do want and hope for today is that this is the end of your diabetes, so. Thank you. Um, a little introduction, you're from? My name's John Harris, I'm from Richland, Washington. Um, can I say hi to my daughter? Yeah, want to shout out? This sure. will be on the Hello, that. Josie! <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to have her watch that. Right. Well, that would be nice. Yeah, we'll okay. send you a link and you know, she can okay. say hi. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, my story is I've struggled with my weight the entire life, like most people I've been hearing about. I went through the Optifast program and lost 85, 90 pounds. Mm -hmm. And I was down, you know, for a few months and it started creeping back. Uh, plus some, like always, you know, every diet you go down, you come back a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Uh, the comorbidity started about, oh, a few years back, six, seven years ago, mm -hmm. with the high blood pressure and cholesterol and started the medicines and pre-diabetes and medicines and then diabetes with insulin a couple of years ago. and. Uh, seemed like the more medicines and insulin I got with the shots, uh, it seemed like the weight kept coming. Every, everything you ate went on. Uh, and I was getting more medicines and more weight, more weight, it's, it's just going down the cycle. I thought these medicines were supposed to help, right? And oh, yeah. One of the big things that's well known in diabetic doctor circles and diabetics know that they can fight a long time with their diabetes with the tablets, but it seems like when they switch to insulin, there's a big bloom of extra weight because the insulin pushes the sugar into the cells, which it's supposed to do, but with that, a lot of that sugar gets pushed in in less than a perfect way, and so it gets turned to fat. And so you... Exactly. Yeah, it's a really unpleasant... You're, you have to treat the high sugar, but as you treat that, you often find that you get extra weight, and so it's very frustrating because you, you know that extra weight increases the insulin resistance. So it's kind of like you say, this vicious cycle. It was. If I starved, I got hypoglycemic. If I ate, did I put on weight? Okay, what, what's the answer? Yeah, it's like a game of chess and you're in checkmate. You know, you're just losing. If you go here, you know, there's check from the queen and here is check from the bishop and there it's the, there's your knight sitting in front of you the other way. And it's, for all the patients we talk to, a very frustrating experience. I finally got my doctor talked into letting me have bariatric surgery. Uh, he had a real negative opinion. Uh, he's seen so many, Rue and Y and other ones with the lap band, and he's it was just, stay away from that. It doesn't work. Don't go there. And finally, I brought him the manual, and he went through the manual after over about a week's period, and he was sold. So, here I am. 
Congratulations. Well, that's a great story. Mm -hmm. great story. And, and I think that is important to point out. Again, you are having the mini gastric bypass today, and we'll say it on tape, I mean, that's different than the lap band and the Roux and Y. Yes. Uh, the Roux and Y uh, is similar, but it has higher complication rates. It has an increased failure rate over time, so more people seem to be gaining their weight back. And the mini gastric bypass, because it cuts through the vagus nerve, it cuts through the longer, narrower stomach, and bypasses a longer amount of bowel, we found more durable over time so that you keep the weight off. Plus, since it's shorter and simpler, your heart is going to have less stress today. We're going to put your body at less stress initially, and then there's fewer complications. And we heard of this, the person talking ahead of you about the leaks, mm -hmm. infection, where you have to have uh, you know, antibiotics or hospitalization or, or problems. It's, we have less problems with leaks by far with our surgery because there's less to do. It's easier. You're not pulling the bowel up as high in the chest. There's less tension. We don't do two connections, but just one. And so all those things tend to simplify and decrease the complications of the surgery. So I'm looking forward to it. Good. Mm -hmm. Now, you went through our wacky clinic yesterday. I did. And uh, you and your wife, uh, I bet you've never been in a doctor's visit that was exactly <laughs> like that before. No. Um, comments? Are you okay with it? I mean, we kept yeah. you here for hours. Um, that was all right with you? Yeah. I, I learned a lot. Uh, uh, I walked out of here a little more somber than I walked in, uh, just from hearing some of the stories and seeing the people, rather than on the internet or whatever, it just brought it a little more closer to home, hearing Miss Todd's story and, right, right. and others from yesterday. It was, okay. I have the fight or flight thing going on right now, but uh, right. otherwise I'm okay. Good. Other questions? Anything else that we should go over that we didn't talk about yesterday that you want to bring up? Uh, no. Okay. We expect so. your diabetes and your sugars tonight will be the worst they're going to be for a day or two, and then they're going to gradually come down. So don't, okay. don't be too surprised. Your body is going to go through a, what you call a stress response. So you'll have some high sugars tonight, and they'll start going down by tomorrow morning, and then the next couple of days after that will be kind of like the other diabetics you saw yesterday. Mm -hmm. Over the coming week, we expect it will get better and better every, every day as the week goes on. I'm looking forward to that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.